Today, I'm talking about happiness. Now, happiness is something that you have to choose. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Or the other side is they say, when I get the job, I'll be happy. When I get the relationship or when I get married, I'll be happy. When I buy the house, I'll be happy. When I have the body, I'll be happy. So oftentimes people delay their own happiness and they say it will only happen when this specific thing happens. And how horrible is that? How terrible is that to just keep it on the sidelines and you have to march along in life and you're not allowed to enjoy yourself. You're not allowed to have the joy and have the happiness you want to have because you have to wait until you achieve the goal. That is sad. Don't do it to yourself. Let's kick it off with choose happiness. Now you have to decide that you want happiness right now. You're not delaying it any longer. You're not waiting for the perfect moment. You're gonna have it right now. Even if you are knee deep, stuck in the mud, you're gonna have fun with it. You're gonna be happy in this moment. This is your one chance to really go for it and really enjoy it. Now some people say, I want happiness, yet they don't choose it for themselves. And what do I mean by that? Sometimes your problem has become part of your identity and it's so interwoven because you've had this problem for so long or maybe you get attention for the problem or maybe people want to help you and be there for you because of the problem. Maybe you can't stop talking about the problem and I know quite a few people like that. They just love to talk about their problems, their sicknesses, what pills they are taking, what's happening with them. They can talk about negativity for ages but when you want to talk about positivity or good things, the conversation is this short. So first off, choose it for yourself. Say, you know what? This problem has entertained me for too long, but I'm moving it aside and I'm committing to happiness and choosing happiness for myself. Now, once you've chosen it, if you've been going down this negative path for such a long time, your mind automatically goes there. The pathways are there. That is your pattern. So you have to create new patterns. So I would say get yourself a routine. Get yourself something that constantly reminds you, hey, choose happy thoughts, choose happy thoughts. Some people put post-its all around their house. It pops up everywhere, on the mirror, on their desk, on their computer, everywhere with little quotes and little encouragements to just be happy. Affirmation saying, hey, I choose happiness, I choose myself, I'm going to be happy. Just to remind you, you can even use technology. Put an alarm on your phone, put a reminder on your phone. Hey, smile, choose happiness, this is your moment. So put that in place for yourself. Now that will already help you. Do a gratitude journal, something where you can just write down things that you are so grateful for. And when you do that, don't you dare give me good manners. It's not about saying thank you, that's good manners. That's what our parents taught us. When someone gives you something, say thank you. I'm not talking about that. When I talk about gratitude, I'm talking about taking a moment to just feel that thankfulness and appreciation for whatever it is. Some people can't even find anything, then at least start with, I'm breathing, I'm standing here, I'm alive, and go with that. And as you start shaping your mind to pick up things that you're grateful for, you'll start finding more and more things. And you know what? You'll start feeling good. You'll start saying, you know what? What I'm going through isn't actually that bad. I never actually thought about this part and that part and you'll start seeing the silver lining and it will definitely cheer you up. So number one, you've chosen happiness for yourself. Number two, you started putting habits in place. You put those post-its up, you put the reminders up. You have that gratitude journal that you do every morning and every evening. Now I have this thing and it's called the happiness plan where you plan your happiness. You plan your rituals and your habits, things you do every single day. So for example, I love to listen to audiobooks or podcasts that just get me motivated and inspired. Now do something that works for you. Maybe you love music and in the morning you listen to that playlist that gets you pumped and gets you going. But put those little rituals and habits in place every single day to tap into your happiness. But then on the other side, your rewards and celebrations. Those are the things that you use to reward yourself when you've done well. Some people don't celebrate when they've achieved something. They have been working so hard, they've been running, they've been doing the fitness, they lost the 10Ks, and they don't celebrate it. They don't reward themselves. Go buy yourself that pair of shoes. Well done. Go give yourself that shopping spree. Maybe someone else has been studying, and it's been a tough six months, and they've been studying so hard. After that, go have the holiday. 
Go take yourself out. Go on that lovely outing that you know you deserve. You need to celebrate the good things in your life. You need to reward yourself when you achieve and then also have those habits that you put in place every single day to keep and maintain that happiness level. You can be happy. You need to choose it for yourself and then live it.